Filipino immigrants have played a crucial role in addressing labor shortages in various industries, such as healthcare, agriculture, and seafood processing. Yes. New Brunswick is one of the 13 provinces and territories of Canada. It is one of the three maritime provinces and one of the four Atlantic provinces. It is the only province with both English and French as its official languages. New Brunswick is bordered by Quebec to the north, Nova Scotia to the east, the Gulf of St. Lawrence to the northeast, the Bay of Fundy to the southeast, and the U.S. state of Maine to the west. New Brunswick was named in 1784 in honor of George III, King of Great Britain, King of Ireland, and Prince-Elector of Brunswick Lüneburg in what is now Germany. Paleo-Indians are believed to have been the first humans on the land of New Brunswick, settling there roughly 10,000 years ago, because their descendants did not leave a written record, there is a lack of knowledge of the history of the area before the arrival of European explorers. The first documented European exploration of New Brunswick was made by Jacques Cartier in 1534, when his party set foot in Miscou and explored the coasts of Chaleur Bay. They made contact with Aboriginals, who from this point on began to trade with Europeans. New Brunswick was founded in 1784 upon the partition of Nova Scotia into two areas which became the provinces of Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. Public education elementary and secondary education in the province is administered by the Provincial Department of Education and Early Childhood Development. New Brunswick has a parallel system of Anglophone and Francophone public schools. In the Anglophone system, approximately 27% of the students are enrolled in a French immersion program. Under Canadian federalism, Power is divided between federal and provincial governments. Among areas under federal jurisdiction are citizenship, foreign affairs, national defense, fisheries, criminal law, indigenous policies, and many others. Provincial jurisdiction covers public lands, health, education, and local government, among other things. Jurisdiction is shared for immigration, pensions, agriculture, and welfare. In the 2011 census, 84% of provincial residents reported themselves as Christian, 52% were Roman Catholic, 8% Baptist, 8% United Church of Canada, 7% Anglican and 9% other Christian. 15% of residents reported no religion. As of October 2017, seasonally adjusted employment is 73,400 for the goods producing sector and 280,900 for the services producing sector. Those in the goods producing industries are mostly employed in manufacturing or construction, 
while those in services work in social assistance, trades, and healthcare. New Brunswick's climate is more severe than that of the other maritime provinces, which are lower and have more shoreline along the moderating sea. New Brunswick has a humid continental climate, with slightly milder winters on the Gulf of St. Lawrence coastline. Elevated parts of the far north of the province have a subarctic climate. New Brunswickers are entitled to the universal and government-funded healthcare operated by the Department of Health. They can use their Medicare card to get this care or receive care in another province. New Brunswick is divided into two healthcare regions, Vitalite Health Network and Horizon Health Network. There also exists two confidential health information lines, 911, for emergencies, and 811, for non-urgent health questions. On the east coast of Canada, above Maine and next to Quebec, New Brunswick has five varied regions, the world's highest tides in the Bay of Fundy, beaches, mountains, rivers, and cities and towns. As well as numerous whales and seabirds, there are land species including moose, deer, hare and rare butterflies like the maritime ringlet, and other marine mammals such as harbor, and gray seals. The Filipino community in New Brunswick, like in many parts of Canada, has made significant contributions to the province's social, cultural, and economic landscape. Here are some of the amazing contributions made by the Filipino community in New Brunswick. Workforce and economic contributions, Filipino immigrants have played a crucial role in addressing labor shortages in various industries, such as healthcare, agriculture, and seafood processing. Their strong work ethic and skills have been essential to the province's economic growth. Cultural enrichment, the Filipino community in New Brunswick has enriched the province's cultural diversity. They have introduced their unique traditions, festivals, and cuisine, sharing aspects of their culture with the local community. Events like Philippine Independence Day are celebrated, showcasing Filipino heritage. Healthcare and essential services, many Filipinos in New Brunswick work in the healthcare sector, including as nurses and caregivers. They provide essential services and care to the aging population and those in need, contributing significantly to the healthcare system. Community engagement, the Filipino community actively engages in community events and initiatives. They participate in multicultural festivals, organize fundraisers for charitable causes, and volunteer their time to support various community activities. Education and professional contributions, Filipino immigrants in New Brunswick have made contributions to the education sector by becoming teachers and educators. They also work in other professional fields, bringing diverse expertise to the province. Support networks, the Filipino community has established support networks to assist new immigrants in their settlement process. This includes helping newcomers find housing, employment, and integrate into Canadian society. Food and cuisine, Filipino restaurants and grocery stores have become an integral part of the culinary scene in New Brunswick. 
They offer a wide variety of Filipino dishes, introducing local residents to the rich and diverse flavors of Filipino cuisine. Overall, the Filipino community in New Brunswick has made a significant impact on the province's social, cultural, and economic life. Their contributions help create a more diverse and inclusive society while addressing workforce needs and enriching the cultural fabric of the province.